For as long as there have been things to buy and sell, there have been resellers. They will buy something for cheap and mark up the price for huge profits, typically taking advantage of those who don't know what they have. The sale of these things may not include cleaning, especially in the video game business. People who simply want to play older games are not able to because they're all in the hands of businesses like GameStop or DK Oldies. These companies make it so people who just want to play some great games aren't able to do so. Ocarina of Time stuck behind a $30 fee. Do you want an N64? Cough up 150 bucks. These prices kill gaming, and today I will analyze the evil behind it. I've seen many videos across my YouTube short speed of people going to garage sales or Goodwills finding cheap games that I'm not sure people to actually play. Instead of the people behind those cameras taking the games home and enjoying them like a normal person would, they put them on a website or an eBay for a much higher price, gloating about their profits. What is hidden behind good editing and big numbers is a scam. A grandma who is selling her kids old stuff that has been collecting dust for years just to be ripped off by someone who doesn't have a passion for gaming. Those games are meant for kids and adults who want to play games and not just make money. This isn't even to mention trade-ins. These may be some of the worst resellers out there. A little button on a website or a sign in a window saying they'll give you a fair offer for your old game collection. Multiple shorts have shown trading in 3DSs and a whole game collections for an OLED Switch or something. The reseller always makes hundreds in profit while the seller gives away their childhood. See the problem? If these people cared about games, they would donate them or at least not mark them up so horrendously. Here's another point, the price of games. I put in an order for three games with DK Oldies, a few not well known 3DS and DS games. That cost me $30. There's a solid chance I got all of those games through a trade in that may have costed them 10 for the three. Now you may ask, if these resellers can find such great deals, why can't I? And the answer is simple, because they have a monopoly. Let's say you're selling a Nintendo Wii. You could put it on eBay, but you don't know if you're putting up a price that gives the most bang for your buck. So you look at GameStop or an online store. They may offer you a price, and one might agree to it because they're the professionals. You may have just lost out on some great money while they sell it for three times the price you sold it for. This creates a chain reaction where someone might have interest in a game, but the price is so high that they can't afford it. Now that people can't afford the game, those who can get it, the resellers. That game just goes up in price as rarity goes up. Then people just accept that they can't have it, or they must pay a lot of money. That's where resellers make bank, manipulating the market and making it near impossible to get fun games. So instead of looking at an online or big game store, look towards single eBay listings and small businesses near you because they are not the problem. If you want games, look to the people who deserve the money, not just big names. They care about games. They want you to have fun. They're the backbone of the industry, while big stores and websites are the boulder crushing the rest.